breaks, right? Today we're talking about taking quality breaks. And I put in the word quality because it's all about what you're doing. It's not for how long you're taking breaks or how many times a day. It's really about what you do with that time in order for your body to recover and to really just restore, to refill your energy bucket, right? Because that's the whole idea that you need to refill your energy levels before you're drained. Because sometimes we're working on a project, we're working the whole day, and we just don't feel like taking a break because we're in that flow, right? And when I talked about flow in another Monday Life, I mentioned how this can also be dangerous. Because when you're in a flow, you completely neglect your body, you completely ignore what's going on, um, so you don't take breaks, right? And then all of a sudden the project is finished or we've done our to-do list is done or we did what we want to do. And then comes that, poof, that exhaustion, right? And that's when many people spend their evenings just on the couch. That's when many people start emotional eating because that's when, when we feel this tired, it's like our body wants to get energy from something and often it's, it's sugar, right? Now that's another topic, but that's really the consequence of not taking breaks. So today is a start of our Give Your Brain a Break 10 day challenge. It's an audio series of 10 days that I recorded for you and it's just five minutes a day. So it's a perfect challenge for people who are super busy because in those five minutes a day, I really teach you the, tri the tricks, the techniques, the tools, um, to really take a quality break and to relax your busy mind, relax or calm down your nervous system in just five minutes. You only need five minutes. And, you know, in five minutes, you could be scrolling your phone, you could be on Instagram, right? You could be online shopping and getting all that extra input in your brain. And really that's not resting, you're just switching tasks, right? You're not doing what you were doing and you're taking a break from that, but you're just, you're doing something as intense because what we don't realize when we're scrolling it's our brain needs to process all this information and it doesn't really work. So you could be doing that or you could actually do a short breathing exercise. I teach you a really good one in this audio series. Or you could pay attention to your body and relax your whole system, you know? And I'll post the link here in the comments of the challenge. There you go, so that you can access, day one is a free preview, so you can just test it out, see what it does for you today. And I do, there are some high achievers here in the group who do it like in the evening before they go to sleep, which is fine, but I do recommend you doing this in the middle of your busy day like in the middle of your morning or in the middle of your afternoon when you really feel that energy drop or when you're really in the flow of something, break that flow and take a break, right? Hey, Juliet, it's nice to have you here. I know you did this series in December. Um, you're, you're welcome to join again. You know, once you have this audio series, you have a lifetime of access and you can just keep going back. Because the tools that I teach you, the visualizations, there are little meditations, there are motivational boosts, there are breathing exercises, there's a, there are tons of tools in there. And you can always go back to that and just use it whenever you need it, right? So this thing of pressing our pause button, right? Um, it's the first step in our roadmap. And I haven't shown you in a while. Let's see, where's the roadmap there? There you go. So you can see that this is the first step, right? Pressing the pause button. And on my website, I have a 20 minute meditation, but I really wanted to cut it in little pieces, just five minutes, because who doesn't have five minutes? And you'll be amazed what you can learn in just a short period of time. So it always comes back to this first step. And that's why I think it's important to do this together again as a challenge because we need to train our brain to really press that pause button. It's really something that we need to, we need to train our brain in, really. Um, because often I hear, I'll just stop the share here. Often I hear that people say, oh, but my brain just works like this. You know, my brain just constantly wants to plan and it's thinking about tomorrow and it's making to-do lists and it's organizing and problem solving. But really what we're doing you're not a victim here, you know, your brain is operating like that because you trained it 
to do that. You created that habit, right? Of just constantly thinking that way, of having those racing thoughts, of constantly organizing. When you're a person who organizes a lot, who makes a lot of to-do lists, your brain is programmed that way and will continue doing that even in your free time, even with your hobbies or passions, it will create to-do lists. So it's a program really. What we're doing with this audio series is we're retraining our brain in different kind of training, right? To disconnect. And it's important for you to know that doing this is really, you need to rewire your brain. Because we know now that with neurology, we know that we can just change the structure of our brains and change the way we think, but we need to be consistent. So let's start with 10 days. And I really hope you keep using these audio series in the future. Because um, let me know in the comments if you recognize this, you know, and tell me when this happens to you that you want to, you know, you just want to keep adding things to your schedule. You want to focus a lot on input, you know, reading new books, listening to new podcasts, taking new stuff in and even when you take a break you're scrolling through Facebook you're watching the history the stories better Instagram stories Facebook stories of people and when you think about it you know your brain has to process all of this poor thing and we don't realize it but then all of a sudden we're exhausted or we want to just eat sugar and then we wonder why right or we get sick because our body just says stop it already and even when we're sick <laughs> we tend to watch netflix or watch anything just to get more input we're such an input society right so we can seem to stop our brain from planning organizing problem solving and let me know in the comments if you recognize this also let me know what's what your biggest struggle is with this so that we can keep the conversation going in the comments um because the truth is i mean this is something that many high achievers struggle with. And in order to become a healthy high achiever, this is the first step of the roadmap, right? It's just, it, it returns in my coachings with my clients is the first thing that they need to learn is pressing the damn pause button, right? <laughs> so you're not a victim of it, okay? You're not a victim of your racing mind. Your brain just got used to doing this. It got used to being active all the time. It got used to having lists of to-dos, of, of information, of everything. But it's never too late. Whatever age you are, it's never too late to start rewiring your brain. Okay, so what is your favorite way of pausing? Let me know, because these 10 days, you're going to be using the Give Your Brain a Break audio series, these five minutes a day. But let me know after that, you can go back to these audios or you can find your own ways of pausing, right? So let me know in the comments, what do you do? For me, for example, it's cleaning up a bit with music. It's, I do a little dance, you know, I have a, a playlist on Spotify, it's called uh, Songs That Make Me Happy. And so I just put on one of these songs and I do a little dance. It's three minutes, right? Four minutes, five minutes if, it's, if the song is a bit longer. But it perfectly disconnects your brain and it, that is output. That's what I'm talking about, putting things out. It's writing, it's singing, it's dancing. It's just anything that comes out of you, it's drawing. That's what you need to be doing because you need to balance all that input that we have. Juliet says, my brain became that way when I had my kids. <laughs> Too many things to do. Oh yeah, I get that. I don't have kids, but I see it all the time with clients, with friends, with, I admire it. And especially in these COVID times when people, when kids were at home, wow, with my colleagues, I just, I couldn't admire them more of how they coordinate. You need to be a super organizer, right? When you have kids. And Juliet says, I love to sing and dance too. The best for me is getting out in the woods. Definitely. So sing and dance, we're on the same page there in the woods. Yes, there, I know you have the woods close to you, right? And it's such a perfect thing to do when you want to just, we know now, research shows that when you watch, you see a tree, you just watch a tree, your, your heart pressure and everything just goes down, you know, everything just slows down your nervous system just relaxes and that's beautiful when i read that, that that's just beautiful so what i also often do is when i can't go outside i just stare out the window and i dream away right just let your mind wander that's also output it's just like 
let it go. Just let it do what it wants to do. Let it go wherever it wants to go, which is often a great exercise. Just some people, um, they like to meditate and always bring their attention back to their breath. It's also a good exercise to stop the train thought, the thought train, right? But another exercise is when you just dream away, when you just let it go wherever it wants to go. And it's okay, you know, you stare at the window, you have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. Um, but the important thing is, I think, is that you're not watching a screen. Because really, when we count the hours that we're really watching a little screen here on our phones or, or on our laptop, it's a lot, right? So find something that just relaxes your eyes, relaxes your brain, and really just, maybe it's something physically energetic if you've been mentally um, doing a lot of activity, right? Maybe your body has been sitting down a lot and it just needs to move. In one hour, I'm gonna do Zumba with a friend. So <laughs> that's my way of, in the middle of my working day, just break a sweat and just, uh, it's longer than five minutes, of course. But that really helps. And you'll see that once you step away from something, solutions and creativity will flow. You know, how often have you had something that you were staring at something, trying to find the solution, trying to find the answer. And the moment you walk in the woods, for example, for you, Juliet, just all of a sudden the ideas come or inspiration hits you or you're in the shower, you know, water does that sometimes. You're in the shower and you get the most awesome idea. That's what happens when you disconnect. So that's why I always say resting is productive because it can help you just stop staring at that screen or piece of paper, staring at what you need to get done for the day. Just take a step back. And then when you come back, you'll just go way faster, right? So the biggest gift you could give yourself on your busiest days is taking breaks. Just five minute breaks are enough and we all have five minutes. So let me know how the challenge will be going this week. Uh, we're starting today, it's for 10 days. And uh, I can't wait to see you all inspiring each other with different ways of taking breaks as well so that we can all become healthy high achievers. Okay, people, so I'm wishing you a wonderful week. Juliet says, you're so right. Amazingly, we can feel lazy if we stop doing, right? In the end, we need a break to be productive. Yeah, it's like that addiction that we always want to be doing something useful and we think doing nothing is, is bad, you know, it's, it's not being productive. But one of the 10 day um, audios is actually about moments of, moments of nothingness. And it's, it's scary for people who, who are driven and have that fire and want to be productive all the time. But um, it's actually, you know, it's not lazy at all. It's not useless at all. It's not doing nothing, right? It's super important because we cannot, there are so many productivity hacks, but in the end we need to be less productive, right? That's what we need to learn and that's what we're focusing on here.